Hello and welcome to this first video of the lesson Grievance Redressal Mechanism. In this series, you will learn about the Grievance Redressal Mechanism, role of consumer courts and the role of insurance ombudsman. Insurance industry is essentially a service industry. As a result, customer expectations are always high and dissatisfaction with the standard of services rendered is always present. Alive to this situation, the government and the regulator have taken a number of initiatives. IRDAI has laid down the regulations to stipulate the turnaround times for various services that an insurance company has to render the consumer. These are part of the IRDAI Protection of Policyholders Interest Regulations 2002. Insurance companies have to comply with the IRDAI guidelines, basis which they are also required to have an effective grievance redressal mechanism. IRDAI has launched an integrated grievance management system, IGMS, which acts as a centralized repository of insurance grievance data and as a tool for monitoring grievance redressal in the industry. Policyholders can register on this system with their policy details and lodge their complaints. Complaints are then forwarded to the respective insurance companies. IGMS tracks complaints and the time taken for their redressal. The complaints can be registered at this URL. Thank you. In this next video of the lesson, Grievance Redressal Mechanism, we will be learning about the Consumer Protection Act. The Consumer Protection Act was passed to provide for better protection of the interest of consumers and to make provision for the establishment of consumer councils and other authorities for the settlement of consumers' disputes. The Act comprehensively defines the terms service, consumer, complaint, and defect. Defect means any fault, imperfection, shortcoming, or inadequacy in the quality, nature, and manner of the performance which is required to be maintained by or under any law or has been undertaken to be performed by a person in pursuance of a contract or otherwise in relation to any service. Complaint means any allegation in writing made by a complainant that an unfair trade practice or restrictive trade practice has been adopted. The goods bought by him suffer from one or more defects. The services hired or availed of by him suffer from deficiency in any respect. Price charged is in excess of that fixed by law or displayed on package or goods which will be hazardous to life and safety are being offered for sale to the public in contravention to the provisions of any law. Consumer dispute means a dispute where the person against whom a complaint has been made denies and disputes the allegations contained in the complaint. Consumer disputes redressal agencies are established in each district, state and national level. The district forum has jurisdiction to entertain complaints where value of the goods or services and the compensation claimed is up to rupees 20 lakhs. The district forum is empowered to send its order or decree for execution to appropriate civil court. The State Commission is a redressal authority that has original, appellate and supervisory jurisdiction. It entertains appeals from the District Forum. It also has original jurisdiction to entertain complaints where the value of goods and compensation, if any claimed, exceeds Rs 20 lakhs but does not exceed Rs 100 lakhs. Other powers and authority are similar to those of the District Forum. The final authority established under the Act is the National Commission. It has original, appellate as well as supervisory jurisdiction. It can hear the appeals from the order passed by the State Commission and in its original jurisdiction it will entertain disputes where goods or services and the compensation claimed exceeds Rs 100 lakhs. It has supervisory jurisdiction over State Commission. All the three agencies have powers of a civil court. The procedure for filing a complaint is very simple in all the three redressal agencies. 
the complaint can be filed by the complainant himself or by his authorized agent. No advocate is necessary for the purpose of filing a complaint. If the consumer forum is satisfied that the goods complained against suffer from any of the defects specified in the complaint or that any of the allegations contained in the complaint about the services are proved, the forum can issue an order directing the opposite party to do one or more of the following, namely, to return to the complainant the price or premium in case of insurance, the charges paid by the complainant, to award such amount as compensation to the consumers for any loss or injury suffered by the consumer due to negligence of the opposite party, to remove the defects or deficiencies in the services in question, to provide for adequate costs to parties. The majority of consumer disputes with the three forums fall in the following main categories as far as the insurance business is concerned. Delay in the settlement of claims. Non-settlement of claims. Repudiation of claims. Quantum of loss. Policy terms, conditions, etc. Thank you. In this last video of the lesson, Grievance Redressal Mechanism, we will learn about Insurance Ombudsman. The Insurance Ombudsman, by mutual agreement of the insured and the insurer, can act as a mediator and counsellor within the terms of reference. The decision of the Ombudsman, whether to accept or reject the complaint, is final. Complaints can be made to the Ombudsman if The complainant had made a previous written representation to the insurance company and the insurance company had 1. Rejected the complaint or 2. The complainant had not received any reply within one month after receipt of the complaint by the insurer. The complainant is not satisfied with the reply given by the insurer. The complaint is made within one year from the date of rejection by the insurance company. The complaint is not pending in any court or consumer forum or an arbitration. The Ombudsman is supposed to efficiently take a decision on any complaint. Notably, recommendations should be made within one month of the receipt of such a complaint. Recommendations have to be accepted in writing by the complainant within 15 days of receipt of such recommendation. A copy of acceptance letter by the insured should be sent to the insurer and his written confirmation sought within 15 days of his receiving such acceptance letter. If the dispute is not settled by intermediation, the Ombudsman will pass an award to the insured which he thinks is fair and is not more than what is necessary to cover the loss of the insured. The awards by Ombudsman are governed by some rules. Notably, the award should not be more than Rs 20 lakhs and that the award should be made within a period of three months from the date of receipt of such a complaint. Thank you.